So today I'm going to be doing a opinion video that's based upon, you know, just me rambling on about how I feel about certain topics. And uh, one of the ones that I find in my radar overall, over the past few days especially, as I assume many of you are aware, um, Harvey, Hurricane Harvey down in Texas. Now, normally in a situation like this, we have people calling for aid, you know, the the media covering what's going on, death tolls, you know, property damage, rioting if it's happening, looting if it's happening. Well, one of the things that I saw was somebody posted something about an article done on Trump's wife's, I can't pronounce her first name properly, I'm sure I can't, Melania, I'm going to say, on her shoes. Of all fucking things to focus on in the middle of a natural disaster, Hold on, there's a hurricane outside? Well, wait, but wait, <laughs> there's more. She's wearing stilettos. Dude, who fucking cares? Hunt millions of people, possibly, you know, multiple millions of people are losing everything dear to them, are getting flooded, possibly injured, and possibly killed. You know, what you care about is what the First Lady's fucking wearing. Now, I'm not going to say that, you know, a lot of this didn't happen back when Obama was president. And I condemned it back then, although it was on the internet at the time, but I condemned, just, I condemned it just as much back then because, to me, if you really want to, really want to, you know, go after Trump in general, first off, don't go after his wife because what his wife does is what she does. She's an individual person. Yeah, I, I, I recognize the fact that she still is her married to the president of the United States, but she still has her own agency is in her own individual. With that being said... If you really want to go after Trump, go after his ideas, his policies, his politics. Don't go after what he wears to a f what he or his wife wears to anything. Regardless, the guy has a multitude of things that you could point out that a lot of people disagree with, and you focus on stupid shit like his wife's shoes, of all things. And this is a message to media in general, that if you really want to make a good case against Trump, you have to make a good case based upon fact and opinion, uh, excuse me, fact and evidence, rather than based upon your opinion of what a woman dresses, which, quite frankly, feminists would probably get a little upset with you about. But, I digress. That being said, one of the things that the media, if they wanted to go after, really go after Trump, they could go after his, you know, militarization of the police again, which he's not militarizing them specifically. He's just giving the option for them to buy military surplus, which, yeah, I disagree with. Why? Because, quite frankly, the, mil uh, the, the police don't need a tank to deal with common occurrences between citizens. And on top of that, it gives opportunities for local leaders to become authoritarian quite easily, given the opportunity. And with that being said, I do understand, you know, in the situation of Antifa, it would make it very easy, very easy to take care of them if you could simply roll in with a tank. However, those of us that are, you know, on the right or libertarian or classical liberal, we don't want to deal with Antifa in those ways. We simply want to defeat them in the, you know, marketplace of ideals, which, given the rash of uh, Google's um, mishaps, has become a relatively difficult thing to do. But with that being said... It's very easy to see how militarization of the police is a bad thing. And I understand you couldn't make arguments for it. It's like, oh, they're just buying a military surplus. Nobody's doing anything with it. Well, here's the thing about military surplus. If you maintain military surplus in an event of war, at least you're not shorted because you have a surplus to gain access to. But that's a discussion for another time. And quite frankly... It's a very easy discussion to be having, but I'm not going to. And another thing that, you know, people point out about Trump is the fact that he made a big big thing about the wall that he was going to put in place, that he was going to take care of the border issues. And I see, when it comes to that, I don't even care if it's just a blatant concrete wall, you know, equipped with, you know, battlements, amongst other things, although I think that would be pretty cool, that's not a political point. That's just my personal preference. But, I didn't, I, it couldn't, it, if it was a wall, I wouldn't care. If it was just simply taking the policies that we already have 
in place and actually enforcing them. Now, Trevor Noah went after, you know, Arpaio getting pardoned by the president. And of all the things that he, you know, supposedly did, we'll say for the sake of argument that Trevor Noah was not going off of emotion or entirely baseless arguments, but rather, you know, actual substantiated fact, you know, he... And, you know, he suspended $143 million of taxpayers' money. And, you know, he, he imprisoned had, you know, concentration camps for illegal immigrants. And this, that, and the other thing. But at the end of all that, he was like, oh, but he's a racist, too. The guy, the guy had the highest rating for Hispanic police officers while he was sheriff. And the reason why he didn't have, why he had such an overpopulation inside of those tent cities, as you call them, which they were, was because ICE wasn't allowed to do their jobs, a.k.a. deport illegal immigrants. Now, in that regard, I can understand where Trump would be coming from, considering to be a massive, not only financial, but personnel undertaking to build a wall, to build a physical wall. However, in a lot of circumstances, I could see where he's done good in allowing ICE, amongst other things, to do their jobs. Now, with that being said, look at what the media points out and think about it. Really think about it. What value is there in what a person wears? In this example, the president's wife. Nobody. That's why people are angry at you. You're not pointing out the things that actually matter. You're focusing on surface issues or, you know, unsubstantiated arguments and pretending like you're reporting news. Now, with that being said, I'm going to do it. With, that will do it for this video. And I feel like I've rambled at you all enough. And I will see you guys on Thursday, or excuse me, Tuesday with a response video. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, and or night. And I will... See you Tuesday.